Hey kings, queens, and beautiful beings. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. It is Queen of Kings back with another video. If you are new here, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below to become a part of our cyber family. And if you're already a part of our cyber family, thank you for rocking with us this far. Thank you for rocking with us this far. Thank you for rocking with us this far. Okay, so today is clearly just me and baby boy. My hubs is at work and the boys are at school. Ray Scott is still at grandma's house and honey, it is very hard for your girl. But luckily he will be back in just two days. Babe is gonna go and retrieve our son from the grandmother. People were asking why did we send race and not the other boys. The other boys have school. Everyone talks about terrible twos in parenting. No one really talks about terrorist threes, okay? I will take twos over threes any day. It has been incredibly hard to get any work done with Ray Scott since I am a at-home working mother. I'm a mother. No drama. No. I have started a vitamin business that I am incredibly stoked about. I've been using it myself for the past three months to make sure that everything is good with it. And a lot of people have noticed my hair growth. If you guys have watched my video just a couple days ago, I just cut off a big chunk, like a lot of my hair, unprofessionally, just chopped it off. So like inches. These pictures are exactly 11 months apart and as you see my hair has grown drastically and the skin is glowing. Both of these pictures are 100% no makeup, no filter. One picture is very very dull, the other picture you see the skin is glowing. I am postpartum now you guys. I am about three and a half, almost four months postpartum and if you've had children you know postpartum baby your teeth are falling out your hair is falling out your skin is dull you are depleted especially while breastfeeding our collagen glow contains all five types of collagen and is 100 percent pure collagen no artificial flavors or additives added so my favorite thing to do is blend it up in a smoothie and i drink it every single day but we'll talk about that more later on ray scott had to take a little break from him until i figure out a nanny and situation because now i am a youtuber i have a vitamin business i have an online personal training business which is also within that same link as the vitamin business if you like to sign up for online sessions and there's just been a lot going on babies back at work I am now a real estate investor, which I've wanted to be forever. So that is what we're here to talk about. Since I've been showcasing many vlogs of what I do on a daily basis, many people have asked me, why haven't I hired a cleaner? And I feel like that is actually a great question. So this is the initial walkthrough of the house. Is just a little things to clean up. They did load the dishwasher, so that's nice. Table minorly dirty. So these people were not extremely dirty at all whatsoever, but what I can see, they had like 10 people here, nine people here. And what I can see right off the bat is that they did not follow all of our instructions, but they tried. The last time I posted a video, I showed you guys me resetting my Airbnb and I got numerous messages from you guys telling me that I need to change my checkout rules. I was trying to be really, really nice and just give my guests a really good experience and not have them have to work too hard. But I did realize that I was making life a lot harder on myself. So I changed that after seeing you guys tell me that I should change the checkout rules. I did change the checkout rules to require that guests empty out their own garbage, make sure that they don't leave sanitary napkins because that's one thing that they were doing was leaving sanitary napkins in the bathroom for me to have to clean and that's just like unsanitary. So I required them not take out the big garbage but put their sanitary napkins, take out the bathroom garbage and put it inside of the big garbage in the kitchen and just tie the bag out and then I can take it outside to the backyard. I required them to put their dishes in the dishwasher and start the dishwasher and I required them to put their towels in the laundry um 
in the washing machine so they did do all of that but this guest did not remove the bedding off of the bed that they use and put it in the corner of the room that's also one thing that i required them to do i noticed that it really allows me to keep my cleaning fee minimum and allows me to be able to turn the place over in an appropriate time so i have three hours from checkout to check in well four hours from checkout to check in to reset the place checkout time is at 11 a.m and check in time is at three o'clock p.m every day so i always have about four hours in between to reset the place granted most of the time i am resetting it by myself and with kids so it makes it definitely a bit more difficult like right now this baby's hungry so i would have to stop what i'm doing to feed him this is pretty much how my day goes. You guys saw I was at my house when I was first recording. My camera died and then I got a text message that they were leaving the house. So I rushed over here so that I could hurry up and clean it because today particularly I have a personal training session. Um, my husband got me a personal trainer because he noticed I was having a little bit of hard time getting back in the swing of things with the baby and I just needed some accountability so he did get me a personal trainer so I have that at 12 o'clock today so I have to hurry up it's 9 25 right now I'm gonna start cleaning I'm gonna go to the personal trainer and then I'm gonna come back here and do some more cleaning before I have to pick the kids up at three o'clock it's a lot honey but we're making it through Riv what's going on a lot of you guys were asking why don't I hire a cleaner and the reason simple reason for that is because this is our home that we own we're renting it out as short-term rental property to have other people pay for our mortgage ideally we would own two homes and someone would be paying for our mortgage and then the extra money would just be profit right but because we are renting out a place we're throwing money away all over again so we had to make it make sense in order to make it make sense <clears throat> i say i'm saving sixteen hundred dollars from paying a cleaner to clean my place and i'm paying myself that so now with renting out this place this mortgage is being paid i'm paying myself the cleaning fee which is fifteen hundred dollars per month so and then taking that away from the rent that i'm paying so that equates to me now only paying about 700 dollars a rent a month for rent when my mortgage is three thousand dollars so i am still saving a lot of money by doing this right now it's paying for my rent as well as my mortgage if i own the place it would be different and it would make sense for me to have a cleaner to come and do this job but ideally next year by march we should own another house and then i will 100 percent have a cleaner but to make things make sense for us um financially and monetarily i am having to take one for the team and do the bulk of the cleaning myself i hope that makes sense to you guys how i explained it in my in my head it makes sense to me okay if you guys have any more questions below or would like me to answer anything else regarding investment properties you guys also i did launch a course for you guys on how to earn six figures as a stay-at-home digital marketer that link is in the description below i'm so happy for everyone that's already purchased it on youtube and instagram i love working with you guys and i'm super happy to hear your success story if you don't know i have earned six figures as a digital marketer all by my lonely and now i am teaching others how to do the same thing and work from home doing what they love buying back their time with their family so that link is in the description below and that is not from airbnb you guys i am new to airbnb so. until next time peace kings and queens okay y'all it is a whole new day i didn't put the last video out so i'm gonna combine it together i got riv with me again i just had back-to-back -back guests so obviously the house that i cleaned up yesterday the guest just left at 11 and then there's another woman um that's supposed to check in at three o'clock but she asked to check in um, early so I got I was able to get the house clean for her and get her in early people were telling me that I'm really like rude or mean for not allowing people without five-star reviews from Airbnb to check in my house and they're like what if the person is new and never been on Airbnb and I was saying like I'm sorry but they'll just have to 
another host will have to risk that. I'm not risking it. And they were like thinking that I was being snobby and whatnot for having that rule. But honestly, it protects me from a lot. Being a business person, you have to understand that business is business and you cannot try to be nice to people. I've gotten messed over so terribly trying to be nice to people while conducting business so business is business you have to stand firm on your rules and it's really helped me out um only allowing five star guests so far my house has remained clean and they do a great job at following the rules so i was able to get this woman in early because the last the previous guest was just so clean of course I did clean up and sanitize everything and still wash the blankets and the towels and everything so right now I'm waiting for her so that I can turn her over the key uh, while I'm here I'm going to finish I got all of these orders of collagen glow to take to the post office to fulfill these orders I have a whole more in here I'm trying not to you know I don't want to show you guys people's addresses but more in here as well so I'm just gonna label these last few packs of collagen glow put them in the bag and I have the labels right here obviously I don't want to put the guests on camera so I'm just gonna hand her over you guys are gonna come with me to drop my first set of packages off at the post office All right, so I got Babe on the phone. He's telling me that he's loaded my card with some more money for me to spend. Noise. Baby Riv is sleeping. Wake that ass up, boy. So we ran out of papers house at the Airbnb, and the guest said she was about 15 minutes away. So it gives me time to go and get her some paper towels. We're working hard for these five stars, you guys, because... Each five star review drugs you closer to being a super host. And when you have super host status on your Airbnb, obviously um, it makes it more desirable. Okay, we got some chicken, some ice cream, and some paper towels. Are you on a roller coaster, Rick? Say wee! 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 <laughs> I'm sitting here eating this fucking ice cream. I thought it just said salted caramel. It says salted caramel fucking onion. Almond. Lord, I'm so sorry for my freaking French. But I'm allergic to. Oh my gosh. Where's my Benadryl? I'm literally. This one is expired. Oh my god. I'm allergic to almond. The tongue is itching already. Oh. Oh my god, where's the Benadryl? It is. Baby. I'm sitting here relaxing. Having a good time. Mm. The tongue is itching. Oh my God, now I'm about to be sleeping. my orders collagen glow some more right here gotta grab the baby so can't take y'all in here with me I don't know I'm too embarrassed to bring my tripod in there 